so tired of COVID, you guys. I'm just tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of things being shut down because of it. Happy Sunday. It's a gloomy day in the city today, but still excited. New year. I am in the Tribeca area, heading to a workout class at Cycle Bar. They were doing kind of like an end of the year promotion thing where they gave out um, three free passes to attend a class before January 2nd. So I signed up for a class today. I've never done Cycle Bar. I've done cycling classes before, but not um, Cycle Bar specifically. So I'm excited to try it out, see if I like it. I usually spend more time in the Tribeca area, like spring and summer, because it's warmer and I really like um, just checking out the parks and like sitting at the piers. And I just really enjoy the area during that time. I haven't been to Tribeca in a while. It looks a little different from how I remember it, but I do like this area. So I just finished my first class at Cycle Bar and you guys, it was so good. It was tough, but it was good. My instructor was so nice and so motivational. She really said some inspirational things throughout our session um, that really got me thinking about 2022 and what's in store this year. I'm really excited for this year, y'all. I am heading to the pier, of course. Um, I specifically chose this location in Tribeca because I knew that it was a short walk to the pier and I just wanted to go see the water but it's so windy out here oh my god maybe I should have worn a bigger jacket all right you guys I made it to pier 26 and just it's so beautiful like look at this I haven't been to the pier in a while guys so this is kind of like nostalgic for me I really love this area I don't I wouldn't I don't think I would ever live in Tribeca just because it's really really expensive but I love coming to either take like workout classes or just like running around the um the parks that they have in the area or um I've never used city bike but if I did I would definitely <laughs> bring the city bike around this area I don't know it's just peaceful uh, for me. I think any pretty much any pier in the city just brings me a lot of peace and makes me I don't know just really like thankful and grateful to live here anyways I'm about to get a little bit sentimental so and speaking of gratitude you guys I read every single comment on my videos and it is so special to me when you guys like watch my videos and then move to New York and then let me know that you moved to New York and that my videos help you 
make the transition that I love reading those comments and I just got like five of those comments today on like different videos and I always screenshot them and send them to my mom like look I helped somebody else but that just makes it all worth it and I'm so appreciative of you guys continuing to watch my videos even though some of my videos are a hot mess sometimes <laughs> y'all are still here and I really appreciate that and I'm so excited for what this year has to bring I'm so excited to continue making content for you guys and yeah I just had to express my gratitude for everyone that watches my videos it's greatly appreciated I'm about to just sit here for a little bit and take in the scenery because again I haven't been here in a while Oh my god, you guys, I can never get tired of that pizza. I literally go to Zazie's Pizza every single week, as you can see in my vlogs. But now I am heading back to Brooklyn. My best friend, my best childhood friend from middle school, he finally made the move to New York City. So I am gonna go stop by his place to welcome him to the city and everything. Um, we'll probably spend some more time together later this week. But I'm gonna go see him. He got in late last night, um, so I'm gonna go see his place and then I don't know we'll see where the day takes me but I'm so excited to see him you guys I literally have not seen him since we graduated we went to middle school together um, then we kind of went our separate ways during high school and then we ended up at the same university so I haven't seen him since I graduated from college so this will be a nice little reunion this is something he's been talking about for a while he's never even been to New York City and now he lives here officially so that's insane but he might be a little camera shy so I don't know if I'm actually gonna show him in this vlog Psych! I'm back home about to head back out. I am going with a friend to see the Spider-Man movie. You guys, I haven't seen a Spider-Man movie since I was like a kid. So I really don't know if I'm going to actually understand the premise of the movie. I probably should have watched the first movies before going to see No Way Home, but whatever. I'm going to go um, just because everybody's been talking about it and I want to be in the loop. I want to be in the loop. So we're going to go watch that. I'm probably not going to vlog it. Originally this was going to be a day in my life vlog but I think it's going to be fairly short so I'm just going to bring you guys um, throughout this whole week with me so it's probably going to be like a week in my life in New York City or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Wow, I do not think that I've ever posted on my channel with my glasses on. Maybe like once in the past, I don't know, but this is me guys, this is the real me. <laughs> I honestly don't even wear my glasses that often, but I've been staring at my computer pretty much for most of the day and uh, my glasses have like the blue light um, filter in them and so that's supposed to help with like screen time so that's why i'm wearing them but yes today has been a really chill work from home day i had a, a virtual casting earlier as you guys could see it went really well they said my read was really good so hopefully i booked the job and just a little backstory in case you guys are unfamiliar with like the acting or modeling world a read is basically you reading a script and so that's why I had that kind of like crazy setup just because I wanted to make sure my camera and my script were at eye level so when I was reading the script it still looked like I was making eye contact with the director I scheduled a meeting with my agent for tomorrow we're just gonna go over some logistics um, kind of get a 
sense of what this year is going to look like for me, kind of get a plan going. Uh, probably will schedule a couple of photo shoots in the next few weeks, so stay tuned for a model vlog here and there. Because COVID cases have been increasing in the city, a lot of the castings and bookings and stuff have been virtual, so I'm not going to be going out going to castings um, this week, I don't think, at least not yet. I haven't heard of anything. I actually um, found a free comedy show that I was going to go to tonight and I was so excited about it because it's a free comedy show. They're giving out free pizza if you get there early enough and there's no drink minimum. You guys, finding a free comedy show in New York City without a drink minimum is so hard and that's how they get you. You usually have to order a minimum of two drinks when you go to these comedy shows and at least to me as someone who doesn't drink, the drinks are kind of expensive. Mm -mm. doesn't sound too appealing but I love going to the free comedy show so that's why I snagged tickets to the one tonight but I just uh, got an email that they canceled it because of the rise in COVID cases here in the city which is super super unfortunate um, I think they're gonna try to host one next week as well but honestly Everything is so up in the air right now, like who knows if that, that one will probably get canceled too. Um, so you guys are probably going to be getting a lot of videos in my apartment these days just because a lot of events in the city are getting canceled because people are trying to minimize contact with others and really trying to get these numbers back down. Also, it's supposed to snow in the next couple of days and you guys know I do not like going out in the snow. So yeah, you guys are just going to have to get used to this blank wall because that's that's what you're gonna be seeing <laughs> I'm, I'm so tired of COVID you guys like COVID is so 2020 it's 2022 now like can we move on can we please move on I can't I can't I'm just tired of hearing about it I'm tired of talking about it I'm tired of things being shut down because of it I'm just so sick and tired of it anyways you guys <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and close out this vlog. So as always, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!